How's it going guys? Today we're gonna be getting to platinum cart before I go home. So no matter what, until I'm platinum cart today, I'm gonna be in this car and in grocery stores. We're only 60 points away from platinum and I only have a couple of days until this quarter is over and then all my points are gonna reset. So I gotta get to platinum while I can. In reality, the only thing this is gonna help is gas money. With Platinum Cart, you can save eight cents per gallon with upside versus at Gold Cart, you're stuck at four cents. So I may not get priority access to batches, but at least I'll get some cheaper gas. I figured today was a pretty good day to do Instacart only, mostly because Walmart Spark is having an issue right now where a lot of the tips and our pay are incorrect. Basically every single order seemed to default to $5, no matter if they tipped more or less. So the no tippers were a little surprised when they saw $5 on the tip, so they removed them. So you ended up with a lot of orders like this. So Instacart, here we go. I sat for an hour, kind of tired right now, not gonna lie. But um, we ended up just getting a $23 Instacart order. It wasn't even at the store that I was at, but we're not too worried about that. It's only one customer. I was really hoping for an easy double because that would double my points, but 10 points is 10 points closer. Let's go do it. That shop went oddly well. I feel like it's been a while since I've just had a smooth shop, no replacements. I think we shopped it all in like 20 minutes or maybe less and we are on our way to our customer. Got a 17 minute drive. I'm not too mad about that because it's been slow, so it's better than nothing. So I've been sitting for almost three hours in total today already, and I've seen two orders, the one I did, and then another order that is at a store 45 minutes away from me, maybe even more. So I don't even know what's going on. It's kind of upsetting, but we're gonna go do a shipped order. Crossing my fingers that Walmart Spark gets sorted out pretty soon because without Spark, I'm sort of realizing just how much I sit every day. And here's that order. Easy shop, easy $20, just aggravated. It wasn't an Instacart because I have one or two more days until the points reset. We've been sitting for another hour at least, maybe even more. And uh, we just got a $28 order, 11 miles. Not the greatest, it's going away from my house too, but we gotta take it. I'm getting so tired in here, but I just wanna go out and move. So I'll see you guys with the order in just a little. I was supposed to be home like an hour ago already, but here we are get this done. Sad part is I still need four more customers so I don't even know. I guess I'm sleeping in the car tonight. I don't know. Really starting to lose motivation here considering it's 8 p.m. We've been out here for eight hours and I've only been able to do two Instacart orders so our points are only here. The good news is I just got another Walgreens order with alcohol so I'm gonna go get that done. Then I'll just need three more orders. So hopefully I could get those done tonight so we don't have to sleep in the car, but yeah, it might come down to me sleeping in the car tonight. I really hope not. We're at Walgreens. Probably can't see anything, but yeah, believe me, we're at Walgreens. Here's the order. Probably won't be able to film much considering it's alcohol order. So I just got an add to queue order which is kind of not normal. It's uh, $19, 19 miles. And the only reason I took this is because one of the customers is right next to the store that I'm at. And then uh, the other one's the 19 miles basically. So I'll have support remove the customer that's really far away and I'll just deliver the person pretty close. Then we'll only be 20 points away from actually getting a platinum cart. Things are starting to look a little better. It's possible. 
I got a $20 cash tip on that order. That turned that into a $33 order. Super nice of them. I was having such a bad day and then I got that. It's like, ugh, man. I can't tell you how disappointed I've been with today. That definitely made things a lot better. All right, so on top of that, I got some more good news. I never even canceled the person that was really far away on my next queued batch. And I'm looking at my order right now and that person's already gone. But yeah, today it's turning around. At the very least, we'll make a little bit of money. I'm just so pumped that that dude gave me a $20 cash tip. And they already tipped me like five or $6 on the app. All right, so quick update. The customer that was removed was the customer that was in town. The only customer that they kept was the one that's 20 miles away. So we're gonna talk to an agent and see what happened, but uh, that sucks. So I'm not driving 20 miles for under $19. No way. So it's almost 9 p.m. I'm gonna go get a snack in there. If I don't get another order, then it's pretty safe to say that we're probably not gonna get anything else tonight. So I might be uh, sleeping in the car. I just had to cancel that last order. The support agent, the way they removed it, it counted towards my cancellation rate. But, oh well, not sure if this lighting's any better, if it's spooky, but yeah, I'm gonna go grab a soda, I'll be back. All right guys, we got all of the snacks and drinks. I went in for one thing, bought six things, like usual. Only cost me $5 though, so that's pretty good. We just got a uh, Walgreens order. No alcohol this time, which is a little easier to deal with. And we're going to Walgreens just across the street. So then we'll only need one more double store to get us to Platinum Cart. I'm doing all this for rewards that might not even be that worth it. It's content. All right, got the bag. 10 minute drive. Why am I doing this? That's like why I keep telling myself like what I'm doing right now makes no sense financially or like with my time, but we're doing this. Instacart's just straight up confused. I didn't accept another cute batch, but I got one, bruh. All right guys, so it has been a very long day. We've been out there for almost 10 hours now and I had to come home because I'm just so tired. I've had a really long day because I worked before Instacart, but uh, when I started this video, I said something, maybe uh, let's rewind. So no matter what, until I'm Platinum Cart today, I'm gonna be in this car and in grocery stores. Yeah, I said this thinking that I would finish this challenge today. I didn't think it would take me 10 hours just to complete four orders on Instacart. And uh, I figured I failed too many challenges, so we're gonna stick to it. We're just gonna sleep in my car tonight. We'll make a little bed thing and um, we'll stay in the car besides bathroom breaks. Then we'll get out of here bright and early in the morning and hopefully finish this challenge. We're 20 points away, which is just one double customer order or two normal orders. And in total, we made about $115. And that's just for today. Definitely not a great hourly rate, but it's better than we were doing. Anyways, I'm gonna try and turn this into a sleepable situation. Guys, you better drop a like for this. I'm I'm not gonna sleep well at all in here. Anyways, thank you guys for 5K subs. Now is probably a good time to thank you guys for that. It's kind of crazy seeing how fast we we're able to grow this channel. On my previous main channel, it took me several years to get to 5,000 subs, even to 1,000. And we did 5,000 subs in just a little over a year, and that is crazy. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, I'm hungry. I'm gonna see if my wife can bring me some food and see what we're gonna do about the sleeping situation. All right guys, so my hair probably looks absolutely insane, but um, it's been a very long day. This is the sleeping setup, but uh, I gotta see if I fit first. Ugh. I am not gonna sleep at all tonight. So my thought process here was that maybe I would have the most leg room if I did this. And I think this might actually be possible. I do have this 
inflatable mat if I do get too uncomfortable, but I think I'll be fine. I'm not going to be getting too much sleep anyways tonight because I am trying to wake up to get that HEB drop at I think 6 a.m. So we'll see about that for now. I'm going to try and get comfortable, but it's not going to get too much better. Maybe I should take this off. Don't want to sleep right next to my trash can. All right, guys, so I'm pretty comfortable. I got some food and... I am ready for tomorrow. The part that sucks is I literally saw this order as soon as I pulled into my garage. I still would have needed one more order after that to hit platinum, but tomorrow morning wouldn't be as bad. And being paid $21 to basically drive right next to my house, the direction I was already heading, sure would have been nice. Regardless though, we got at least two more orders to do tomorrow morning. We'll see if um, I can wake up in time to do that uh, 6 a.m. HEB drop. Anyways, I'm gonna go crack a window because I just realized this is probably dangerous and um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, it is 5.12 and I probably got just a couple hours of sleep. It was too hot to even be in the sleeping bag but I um, woke up and I basically have been trying to figure out if I'm actually gonna have enough energy to get up and um, get out there. I was I almost just slept through my alarm. I was kind of tempted, but we gotta do this. So I'm gonna go run to the restroom real quick and get ready. And um, we'll be on the road and we're crossing our fingers that there's actually an order. Because if there's not an order at 6 a.m., then I'm probably gonna be sitting there for a couple of hours. So maybe I'll get some sleep then. We'll see. 5.45. You're heading towards HEB. Hopefully you guys can actually still see me because I know it's still pretty dark. I'll try my best to actually get some light on the shots. <laughs> guys, we did it. We're at HEB super early in the morning. It's currently 5.57, so let's see if we get an order. We just got a $38 order. It is 6 a.m. This $38 order is just like 30 plus items for two customers. The weird part about this order is that it's for a HEB that has not been enabled for Instacart till recently. This HEB is actually the closest one to my house right now, so that's pretty good news. I thought it was weird, yesterday I saw another HEB that was previously not enabled for the app. So it looks like a bunch of new stores got enabled for Instacart. So this is really great news for me. So I'm gonna go do this order, it's a double, so we're gonna get the platinum. And 38 is a pretty good price, so I'm happy with that. I'm just happy I got an order this early in the morning. So here's the new HEB. You might see me here more often early in the morning because this is a really popular HEB. It's actually the biggest one in my town, I think. It was just never approved for Instacart. There's the order. Shopping took me about 35 minutes. Everything went fairly well for it being a decent size order. The only problem is when you guys do these early morning orders is sometimes they're stocking what you need. So sometimes you bounce around the store a lot. But the good news is there's barely anyone in the store besides stockers. I think I was the only customer I saw. Both of my orders are for apartments. The big order is for the third floor and they got 240 packs of waters, paper towels, and a bunch of normal groceries. So I'm getting a morning workout in for sure. Then we'll see about the other order. The other order is a one trip no matter what, so we'll be good. lot of work just to do six orders but uh we hit platinum i'm probably gonna work a little bit more today maybe try and do one or two more orders but i think that is enough content for one day for you guys the video is already going to be super long so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this smash that like button because this was kind of like a special video a lot more effort went into this 
I'm working off like three, four hours of sleep right now, and I am tired. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.